Hello guys, welcome again to Inverse. I'm here with another tutorial on open source project, which is hospital management system. Actually, this project is based on data structures and algorithm built in C++. I have a humble request for you guys. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, kindly subscribe it, like this video and comment on it if you have any queries. Purpose of the project is to computerize the front office management of hospital to develop and use software which is user friendly, simple, fast and cost effective. It deals with the collection of patients information and diagnosis details. Traditionally, it was done manually. This project is just a prototype of hospital management system and to let you know that you can make your own graphical user interface, desktop or mobile application for your own hospital. The main function of the system is register and store patient details and to retrieve these details as when required and also to manipulate these details meaningfully. System input contains patient details while system output is to get these details onto the screen. It is accessible either by an administrator or receptionist. Only they can add data into the databases. The data can be retrieved easily. The data are well protected for personal use and make the data processing very fast. As for now, I did not add the login system, but it can be easily implemented on this project with few lines of code. Let us first discuss the algorithm of the project. So algorithm contains first of all patient admissions and then we insert the patient data into the table and then allocate the ward. We can also edit the patient data. We can search for a specific patient in a data and we can delete obviously the patient data as well. Also, we can display all the data of the patients. In menu consists of adding a record in the table or we can edit the same record as I have already mentioned and then for search for a specific patient, delete the specific patient, display all the results and then we can exit the program as well. These options are available on the main screen. In patient adding record, uh, we can add the patient name and then we, can, we have to add the patient father name, patient ID, patient birth year and ward assigned for how many days. So this is the patient details in table. As you can see that this is the main menu of our program. You can select any choice you want. Let's say I have added the patient record just like this, which is stored in the table and shown here in front of you. Let me give you the demo now. So this is the Dao C++ ID, which I'm using for this program. These are some of the header files which is used in this program. This is the structure for node and then obviously there are classes for list, linked list as well. So this project is basically uh, built on doubly linked list and uh, there is a coordinate system in this program as well. So I have used the go to x y coordinate system and I'm sure that you better know why for which purpose this is used for. So I would say that you will better understand the project code if you have any query during uh, understanding or any problem you encounter in this program i will share the link below in the description so you can ask me question and i'll answer you as soon as possible so our program is run now I can see, as you can see the main screen, uh, I'll, I have pressed 1 for adding a patient record and then 1 to enter 1 patient record. Now I'm pressing patient name and father name Smith, uh, patient ID 101 and the patient birth year is 1982 let's say for example and the ward assigned is let's say 2 and uh, for number of stays the patient is staying is 3. So successfully the record is added. Now you can get back to the main screen and you can edit the record, you can search for record, specific record, you can delete the specific record or you can display all the records on the screen uh, in a tabular format and obviously you can quit the program. As I have already mentioned that I did not edit the login system in this program but you can easily add the login system in this program uh, for the patients or for the manager, for the doctors or for the recep receptionist. So you can uh, make different um, credentials for each one of them and obviously you can add a lots of functionality into this program this is just a prototype a simple program for uh, 
beginners or noobs in programming data structure algorithm in C++. Uh, so that's it from my side. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you like this video, if it helps, kindly like this video, share with your friends and uh, comment on this video. I'll answer your queries as soon as possible. Thank you so much, guys.